Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge University, and this is a long-lived asset reading. We will continue with uh, our uh, depreciation concept, and in this uh, session, we are going to cover about the component depreciation. Please note that the component depreciation is allowed under both U.S. GAAP and IFRS. However, uh, very few companies they use the component depreciation under U.S. GAAP. Right now, so what is the component depreciation? Component depreciation is useful uh, method when you have a component whose life is much lesser than the overall asset's life. Okay, just as an example, think about a car. Okay, in a car, let's say if a car's life is ten years, the tire would uh, uh, have to be replaced every three years or so. Right, so. If the tire cost is very high as a percentage of the total vehicle cost, it is better idea to depreciate the tire separately and depreciate the car separately. Okay, ideally would have uh, depreciated the car uh, car entirely. Okay, but in a component depreciation, you would depreciate the different components at their uh, useful life. Okay, so this gives us a much better understanding about the. Total depreciation. Okay, please note that here we need to assess that whether we should do component depreciation. It will depend on the value of the component. Nothing is mentioned in the CFA book. Okay, but about what is that uh, value? But it is up to you to estimate. So usually, if it is a very significant amount of the total value of the uh, equipment, then you should consider a component uh, depreciation. Okay, so let us see uh, through an example. Okay, this component depreciation concept. Okay, suppose let's say you have bought a car, and car's cost is dollar five thousand, and you estimate that this car is going to uh, you will uh, use this car for let's say five years. Okay, you will use this car for five years, and you will sell this car at the end of five years for dollar two thousand. Okay, so the salvage value of the car is. Dollar two thousand, right? So if you do a straight line depreciation, okay. So under a straight line depreciation, your depreciation would be five thousand minus the salvage value of two thousand divided by number of years. So your car's value would uh, the depreciation would be how much? It would be six hundred dollar per year under the straight line depreciation concept. Okay. Now think about. Okay, uh, may, maybe let's say you think here. May, let's make a change, and I say that you think that the car value would be six years, so that it is better for our value estimation. So this I am changing to six year, so this will become five hundred dollars. So three thousand by six, five hundred dollars. So the straight line depreciation per year is five hundred dollar per year. Okay, now take the case of component depreciation. Okay, wherein we are saying that the tires, okay, the car has tires, and the cost of tires is let's say thousand dollars. Okay, assuming that the cost of tires is thousand dollar, and the tire they have to be replaced every three years. Okay, so they have to be replaced every three years. Okay, now how much would be the depreciation if you take the tire as a component, and you would want to depreciate it separately? Right. So let us uh, break down the value of the car. Okay, car is value is a uh, is broken down into two item. Okay, one is uh, the tires, which have a value of dollar one thousand. Please note that the salvage value of tire we assume it to be zero. Okay, note that they can be retreated etc. Rubber may have some value, but let's say the salvage value of tires is zero. Okay, and the car. Value car without tires. Okay, the car without tires. Right. Please note that the car without tires, because the car is costing five thousand dollars. Okay, tire cost thousand dollar. The car without tires will cost four thousand dollars. Right. Four thousand plus one thousand will give you this five thousand dollars. Right. Now this car without tire. Okay, the salvage value we have given that it will be sold for two thousand dollar at the end of six years. and here we are assuming salvage value to be zero okay now consider on a timeline okay so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay 
so what we have over here is uh, when i have considered over uh, 0 to 6 okay the tire would last only for these three years okay so the tires will so they have to be replaced so here you have to replace the tires okay and you buy a new tire okay new set of tires assuming that the tire cost does not change assuming that the tire cost after three years is again thousand dollars okay in fact in reality it would change but let's say assume that the tire cost after three years is still dollar thousand okay so how much would be the depreciation that we are going to make for this tire okay so think about the tire what is the value thousand salvage value zero what is the life of each tire it would be three years so the depreciation of tire is 330.33 dollars okay and depreciation of so this is for tire and depreciation of car without tires okay the car without tires the cost is 4000 salvage value is 2000 divided by the life which is 6 so it will be how much 2000 divided by 6 which again comes to dollar 333.33 so the total depreciation that you are going to make is total depreciation will be this this plus this so the total depreciation comes as 666.66 dollars right or roughly i can say as 667 dollars okay so this is the total depreciation that you will do okay for how many years okay so you are the first tire is going to last for one two and three years so this is the total depreciation that would be done for three years so for three years you will do this depreciation 667 okay 667 so first year second year and third year okay now let us see the depreciation or in fourth year in fourth year what would be the depreciation so in fourth year you have to buy a new tire okay so you will buy a new tire okay and new set of tires okay so you will have to depreciate that new set of tires the purchase price we have assumed that assuming that the price does not change so it remains as thousand dollar so it will be thousand minus salvage value zero divided by three so it will be 333.33 right so this will be the depreciation so what will happen is for the next three years okay for the next three years the depreciation will remain same and for car without tires the depreciation was same that's 333.33 and for the next three years it is this so total depreciation will be again 667 333 plus 333 it gives you 666.66 roughly i can say as 667 so under component depreciation okay what happens is the depreciation remains constant it remains constant here in this case it is 667 and for how many years it will be for six years this is the component depreciation right so every year you are going to depreciate this much right so total depreciation will be how much so if you compute total depreciation it will be 666.66 into 6 so this will be how much it will be four thousand dollars so this is the total depreciation that you are doing for the car in six years okay please note that okay three thousand is the depreciation or two thousand is the depreciation for car without tires okay because the value of the car is 4000 without tires and salvage value is 2000 so the difference is 2000 depreciation for that and tires 1000 depreciation for the first three years and another 1000 for the next three years that is how it has been taken into consideration okay now go back and see revisit the straight line depreciation in the straight line depreciation we said that we bought the vehicle for 5000 it has a salvage value over here and we will depreciate it for 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 years right salvage value was 2000 and i said that the straight line depreciation will be how much 5000 minus 2000 divided by 6 so every year you will do 500 500 dollar as the depreciation okay but note that this is not correct okay so you are doing depreciation of 500 dollar 500 dollar 500 dollar 500 dollar 500 dollar and 500 dollar but note that what happens is 
the first tire would get exhausted over here and you have to replace the tire over here okay so you will buy a new tire so a new tire is bought when it is bought at in fourth year in fourth year it is bought so the new tire has to be the cost is 1000 salvage value is zero so cost is 1000 salvage value is zero and it has a life of 3 years life of 3 years so you have to depreciate that so how much is the depreciation of that it will be 1000 minus 0 by 3 which is 333.33 so what happens is under straight line depreciation you will do depreciation at t equal to 1 of 500 okay same will be at t equal to 2 and t equal to 3 but at t equal to 4 you will have to do a additional depreciation of how much 333.33 why this depreciation because you have bought a new tire and as a result your depreciation will shoot up so in the third year it will be 833.3 so sorry fourth year it will be 833.3 it will be the same in fifth year and it also will be in the sixth year so these these three years you will depreciate 833.3 so what is the total depreciation that you are going to make total depreciation will be 500 dollar you were depreciating for 3 years 3 year 500 dollar was 3 year was a depreciation done and 3 year you were de doing depreciation of 833 so this will come to be 1500 plus this will be 2500 so the total depreciation remains as 4000 only okay which is same as the component depreciation okay but only thing which is happening over here is in the start in the start straight line is under depreciating that means you are not depreciating as much as you should depreciate right so as a result what happens is you will show higher profit as we have seen okay so you will show higher profit okay but in the year 4th 5th and 6th you will have to depreciate more because the component depreciation it will always be 666 0.67 so it will always be 666.67 here you are doing 500 500 500 but from this point of time you will have to do 833 833 833 so whatever the extra profit you had shown over here you will have to show lesser profit as compared to the component depreciation okay so please note that it is uh, allowed in both ifrs and gap but not mandatory in uh, but rarely few firms uh, use in gap right so these are the two problem set concept uh, uh, builder on the component depreciation make sure that you go through this case specifically the focus would be on the depreciation that you would incur in the year when you have replaced the component that year the depreciation will shoot up right so you it 500 was there and it has shot to 833 so that is the focus so what would be uh, the change okay so this completes your component depreciation